Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm going to attempt to say this Sandor Mirsky. It's built on a Polish style uh, community. Um, it is a very Polish style mount full of small farms and stuff. We are going to take a look at it. But first I got a new intro. We're going to fire that up and then we're going to get into it. Here at Kentucky and JD, we do so many different kinds of games. We do shooting games, farming games, all kinds of simulator games. And uh, we're playing right now, we're playing on Twitch, we're playing Mud Runner, and that's to get ready for Snow Runner. So, you know, check us out on Twitch. You can get involved in the map reviews of the games and stuff. I plan on doing map reviews also on uh, Mud Runner and stuff. Now that I got a PC cop bit, plan on doing Farming Fix 2020 if all goes well. And like I said, plan on doing, uh, well, a little bit of everything. I love having everybody in chat and love seeing comments on YouTube. Literally, uh, just being with each and every gamer, because I am a gamer, makes doing YouTube and Twitch and everything that much better. So, you know, like I said, come have a laugh, um, enjoy the conversations, and don't be like this guy, because he won't be sticking around to see anything. Have fun, everybody. Enjoy the episode. Yep, that one was fun to make. So, shout out to Angry Jack Black, Robot Chicken 7138. Got another one uh, just added while I was doing my last stream. Hawksaw22, also shout out to Mudrunner666 for the follows on Twitch. If you want to follow, follow. If you want to come take part in the uh, streams, we are doing, like I said, Mudrunner to get ready for Star Runner. We're looking at Farm Fix 2020, possibly bringing that in. And if you want to take part in the map reviews, you know, I grab a lot of this stuff off of modhub.us. If you want to take part and give your map reviews here or on my comments on YouTube that we're recorded for, come on and take part. So, like I said, this map is a very Polish-based map. One of the things I'm going to read off in their comments from modhub.us, it says, I present you a map of my authorship called, and we went over the name, the, my, the map is modeled on a real, after the, some land that where they grew up. So in saying that, if you do a map and you include your community, I just want to say your map is great. Hey, you're going to be playing a map that you love that's of your community. You include your community or your family or whatever. That's awesome. And pretty explanatory on this part right here with Dragon X. You do have people, you have cars. I think you have people. Pretty sure I looked at so many day. These are the ones that you own. They are kind of scattered. Um, I, I do wish they was closer in, but you know, things can be so moved around or whatever. That's just part of it. Maybe in real life they actually own these lands. So, a lot of this map is Bible, all over this map. I mean, you click on it, you can buy it, even out here on the edges and stuff. It's um, pretty nice. You have a plane flying around in this map. I, I love life giving a map, and a lot of people, it's hard to do trains and people and cars and planes and working with planes. Uh, the collaboration, J&J &J Mods and Kaz is two of the best I've ever seen, especially J&J. &J. Uh, he does amazing work. Um, probably some of the best I've ever seen. i got tons of video of his work. So here's a lot of your sales points. There's That sells a little bit of everything, so you're going to have good competitive pricing. I like that. I did notice on what part is it? You do have contracts. 
in your garage. You got kind of an old feel. You can't go really small on this because you know it's polished style mount. Not too crazy about these kinds of trailers, but that's fine. Uh, like I said, if you don't like it, just sell it. You do have your end game stuff, a few silos here and there, and um, great silos, and then you got your bunker silo medium. As far as looking around, it is a very pretty place, and all the gates and stuff does work that I have tried. This one here, especially. Um, this one over here. Here goes the plane. You see it all over this map. As you see, I didn't open up a lot of this stuff. There's no housing trigger here, but it really isn't needed. Um, most of the fields, like I said, are really small. They are Polish inspired, but it looks like you can join them together if you want to kind of make some big fields out of it. The only reason why I have never played Polish as far as myself is because most of the harvesters for cotton and stuff, I mean, this right here, you just go broke trying to do something like it because there's not enough cotton, but you can add these together and do a large field of cotton. And now you can do old iron and small gameplay cotton. So now I wouldn't buy them at all. All the uh, wood slash forest areas looks really nice that I've seen thus far. Like I said, here is your traffic. It definitely has a Polish feel on the farms and stuff. Got you some little clutter there in your lands. Here and there for obstacles for you to go around little island areas. Notice I got the fire scared at me over here. There is sounds also. That in there kind of jumped out at me. I wasn't really ready for or expecting anything like that. Like I said, a lot of your Polish style farms just really narrow. But there's a lot of people that loves the Polish style maps. And like I said, you if you're really uh, into small farming or old iron, it's great for something like that. Here comes the plane again. Um, if you want to go and grow from small to medium to large, you can do that by adding these fields together. Nice looking little apple orchard there. A lot of grasslands and forest on this side of the map. We're up here at the top left and to the left side, fixing the head down. All those woods slash forest area has that sound that I've heard so far. A little young growth of trees. Pretty cool looking view here. Plenty of grass and forest. I mean, if, if you're wanting to do some forestry, there's definitely a lot through here. Your little town area here. I was thinking this map had people in it, but I haven't seen it thus far. That's probably was the last map I looked at. Not seen it yet, but it does have traffic. All kinds of different traffic. A little road construction here. A little detour to go around. Let's head up this way this little town area here's your shop there's people
free food in the store there. Gas station. So, I mean, it's not too shabby. Um, good work. Great looking, polished style mount. So, with that, if you do not know what game this is, this is Farming Simulator 19. If you want to take part in, like I said, the reviews and stuff, we sit here and we're looking at several maps tonight. Or if you want to watch some crazy mud runner play, I've been falling off the mountain more times than I can even count. It's uh, been some really treacherous stuff, really good for content, had a lot of viewers. And uh, be sure to check out the videos that's going to be popping up here and uh, give our stuff some views and find something that you might like. Take care and have fun, everybody.